What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where a wild GTC4 Luso is spotted doing road tests yet again, and the Ferrari Porto Sangue is on its way, and this prototype, along with the Levante prototype, are going to come together to make something great. Now, Ferrari has decided to put an end to the production of the Ferrari GTC4 Luso, as we've discussed in previous videos, by removing it from the 2020 range. However, a strange prototype of the Marinello shooting brake was spotted near Bergamo. Now, I'm not exactly sure why the Modena car manufacturer still decided to bring the four-door seater back to the road, but I do know it was used as a test base for the new Ferrari Porto Sangue SUV. And spy photos show a semi-camouflage prototype, and the camouflage suit was not applied to the entire bodywork of the GTC4 Lusso, including the bonnet, side profile, and side skirt in the lower rear area. The trunk lid, roof, exterior mirrors, window frames, and pillars remained in plain sight. And at first glance, the prototype of the GTC4 Lusso seems to have an identical design of that one of the production car. However, the shape of the wheel arches looks slightly different. More specifically, the distance between the tires and the wheel arches is slightly higher than standard, leading to an increase in ground clearance. In the past, the Prancing Horse has used the body of the shooting brake to test the Porto Sangue. Most likely, this is the prototype that was used to test the new mechanical solutions that perhaps we will see on the SUV of the Prancing Horse. Now, according to the latest rumors, the FUV is expected to debut in 2022 and will replace the shooting brake in the Marinello range. And based on the latest rumors leaked on the web, the Ferrari Porto Sangue is rumored to have a front-mounted engine in a longitudinal position and the gearbox arranged at the rear, just like the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso. Coincidence? Probably not. Now, all-wheel drive should not be missing and perhaps an improved version of the four-wheel drive Evo system used on the shooting brake. And at the moment, don't exactly have any information on the range of engines that the new Porto Sangue will use, but it should consist of a V6, possibly a hybrid, V8, and maybe a V12 engine. But with that said, is Ferrari using two different test mules to bring together the Ferrari Porto Sangue SUV? Again, we've seen it testing on a Levante test mule, and we've seen it testing on a GTC4 Lusso. So maybe some things are being tested on each, and then it's all going to come together. I'm not exactly sure, but with that said, what do you guys think? Leave your conspiracy theories down in the comments below. And with that said, if you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a thumbs up will help get it up in rankings, more people can see it, and we can have a bigger discussion on the Ferrari Porto Sangue using two test mules, the GTC4 Lusso and the Maserati Levante. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, make sure you check the links down below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo, just in case you guys wanna donate a dollar or two to the channel, help support your boy, I really appreciate it. You can also check out the Patreon, be a monthly subscriber, or check out the Ryan's Rise merch, where you can get coffee mugs, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, everything Ron's Rides. Now I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, so everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo, that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you won't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rides video. Peace.